So let's continue our project. The next task for us is to send data from client to server using Ajax post method. And to do so, let's go to this index CSHTML file. And as you already know, we have this add book method and we are adding the new book data the client side table but we are not sending it um, back to the server to be saved in a database so let's do that let's add an ajax we are going to use a ajax from jquery it is the simplest way to do it let's call ajax and next we have to uh, set some properties or values here my URL would be, uh, I think, API book and the method I am going to use is post and the content type I am going to send is application JSON and my data is json.stringify and new book json.stringify converts the JSON to be sent through Ajax uh, using a strings and uh, that's the way we can create this data in the backend so let's go to our backend book controller and we need another action in here let's add public i action result um, let's call it create and and we are going to get a book call it model and let's return the model as ok result just for now later we need to add some code here to save data to database but I'm not going to go through that now for the time being let's just send data from client to server and make sure it works next we can add database and save this data so i'm going to add some breakpoints here and run my project using debug mode so i am getting an error on my backend side and the problem is ambiguity so let's solve the problem using attributes and for this action I am going to set HTTP get and for this one I'm going to use HTTP post so this way we solve the ambiguity problem and make sure that whoever wants to call this method uses post method and this method only available in get method so let's run the project again now my project is up and running and let's add learn new 2020 and add so when I'm on the back end I receive my model and as you can see and the name and the year is being received on the back end and I am sending them back to the client uh, for the time being we are not doing anything with this data but uh, as you can see it works and uh, you can see and that uh, we can send data back and forth between client and server using Ajax okay and uh, now now that our ajax is working we need to make sure that uh, 
the VM books splice happens only when the sending data is successful and to do so we can use done method in Ajax and add another function this way and I replace this line put it in here and so this line only works if everything works in the back end you don't want to show data on your client side application uh, in case there is a problem in the back end because your customer your user might think that everything worked in the back end uh, but it may not be that in the case so uh, we only show data if our back end is working and we get the done result and we can get the data that is coming from backend the data that we specified in here uh, I'm using uh, something like this the model that is being sent back to the client uh, comes back to this model and I can use this model here this way in this case uh, I have an ID for my model for new book I don't have the ID part because it's a new object that I'm creating in my client side but when I receive this model uh, it means that we have the main data and the ID that has been generated by the backend to be used in client side usually we need the ID uh, for performing actions like edit uh, or delete uh, other stuff uh, ID is only available if we use a database here we are not using any database for the time being but we are going to do so in a few um, minutes